All right, catch pot time. Was it recording? Okay, so in my last Pokemon related video, how to make Pokecoins, I briefly mentioned the catch bot, and some people in my comments and in my Discord server either didn't know what it was or didn't know how to use it. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. So basically, the catch bot catches a set amount of Pokemon automatically without using any of your Pokeballs over a certain amount of time. I don't think I called mine back yet, so let me do that real quick before we start. All right, so as you can see, that's what I got from the last time I ran the catch bot. To get started, punch in the command uh, semicolon catchbot and it should pull up this menu right here. Now if you've never used this thing before, it should say that after like one hour you'll get one Pokemon and you have to pay like 500 coins to use it. Something like that. I'm not entirely sure, it's been a while since I upgraded it, but that should not matter anyway because we're not going to actually use it yet. Before I get to the strategy with this, I want to run through the basics first. So really there are only three commands with this thing. The one I just used, semicolon catchbot, pulls up the menu. Or like you can see up there, if your catchbot was running, that just calls it back. The next command is semicolon catchbot space run and then space x with X being the number of hours you want this thing to run for. That command sends the catchbot out to catch Pokemon for you. So if you want the bot to run for six hours, you just punch in semicolon, catchbot, space run, space six. And then it'll give you that number thing and then you just confirm it and then you're good to go. And then the next one, the third one, starts the same as the others, semicolon, catchbot, space upgrade, space, and then the name of the stat you want to upgrade. So if you want to upgrade the cost, let's say, just punch in semicolon, catchbot, space upgrade, space cost. Now it is possible to get legendaries and shinies from this thing, but it's really hard to do. The chances of getting a legendary are one out of 5,000, which is way harder to get one from a regular encounter, because regular encounters are one out of 666, and if you have a golden raz, it's one out of 500. I've only done it three times, and I run this thing every day. One of them was yesterday, actually. It was, I think it was Celebi. I'll put a screenshot up. Anyways, for shinies, it's more ridiculous. It is one in a hundred thousand. What the f that's more than 10 times harder than normal. So don't run the catch bot expecting you're gonna get shinies and legendaries every time you call it back. You're better off grinding encounters for that. Like I said in the last video, it sucks at first, so you're gonna have to do some upgrading. And that takes Pokecoin, so I hope you watched the last video because we're about to grind. The amount of coins it takes to upgrade each part grows exponentially with each level. So for example, the first upgrade to the amount of Pokemon you get per hour costs 5,000 coins. After that, it'll cost 10,000, then 20,000, 40,000, and so forth. Maxing out this particular stat, the Pokemon you get per hour, is gonna cost you a total of about 5 million Pokecoins, which is definitely gonna take some grinding. So if you wanna start profiting off this thing, you better get to it. To upgrade the cost per Pokemon, at first you gotta drop 1,000, then 2,000, you know the deal. And then to max it out, you're gonna have to spend a total of only a million Pokecoins, around a million. So that is much more manageable. And in order to profit off the bot, this one should be your priority, which I'll get to in a second. The third and final stat, which I personally think doesn't need Need to be maxed out is duration of the bot. Upgrading this one increases the amount of hours you can run the bot at a time. But honestly, this one should be the least of your priorities. I have it where you can run it for a maximum of seven hours at a time, and that's good enough, honestly. I mean, your money should go to the other stats first, really. I mean, eventually, yeah, max it out. But as of right now, if you have the duration low, just come back and start it over. Like, that's it. I guess just get it to a point where it runs the entire time you're sleeping. But other than that, maxing it out takes a total of, I think, 3 million coins, around 3 million. And that's a that's a large amount of coins. So that's 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 best spent elsewhere. Now back to what I said about the cost. Understanding the cash flow power of the catch bot requires some math. When you release duplicate commons, you get 150 coins. That's the floor. Your goal is to get the cost below 150, so that every time you release your duplicates from the catch bot, you profit no matter what. Now obviously your catch bot's gonna get more than just commons. You're gonna get on commons, you're gonna get rare, you're gonna get super rares. If you're lucky, you'll get legendaries. So as long as you're constantly upgrading the cost, you'll be making more money easily. If you look here in the middle, you can see that I have cost maxed out. So for me, it only costs 100 coins per Pokemon, which means I've already guaranteed at least a 50 coin profit. And that's not even mentioning the money I get from uncommons and rares. You'll get super rares from the bot, but like I said in the last video, don't release your super rares. If you wanna know why, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Each upgrade to the cost takes off 40 coins from the cost per Pokemon to run the bot. So by the second to last tier, you're already guaranteeing a profit because it's 140 per Pokemon. We just want to guarantee that you're not losing any money whatsoever. Now, of course, most of the money is going to come from the uncommons and the rares. And to get more of those, that's where the amount of Pokemon per hour comes into play. Now, this one's the expensive one. That's the one that costs 5 mil total. Not even I have it maxed out. I don't think anyone in our server has it maxed out yet, because we did cost first. This is where a bunch of your duplicates are going to come from. And releasing duplicates is one of the easiest ways to make money. So if you're not using this bot, you are missing out on a lot of coins. Our advice, the way to prioritize it, is prioritize cost first, then Pokemon, and then duration. Duration should be the last thing. Combine this with the other strategies of the last video, and you'll be making money even when you're not playing. If you want to see us actually use these strategies, I suggest joining our Discord server, link in the description. I'd also recommend it if you just want to chill, you know, hang out, talk about Pokemon, anime, whatever games. I mean, anything really, we're just vibing. Anyway, I hope this helped. If you have any more questions, ask away in the comments, ask away in the server. Other than that, have a good day.